Do you remember the topics we discussed in the last class? Yes. In the last class, we discussed about expanded form, place value and comparison of numbers. Yes. Now we are studying about forming numbers. That is forming the smallest and biggest number using the given digits. Smallest number is obtained by arranging the digits in ascending order. Remember that when we are forming the smallest number, the zero is one of the digits, place zero in the second position from the left. And the biggest number is obtained by arranging the digits in descending order. For example, consider the digits 3, 0, 5, 9, 7, 1, 8. When forming the smallest number, first we select the smallest digit. Here the smallest digit is 0. Place 0 in the second position. And the next smallest digit is 1. And remaining digits are arranged in the ascending order. So the smallest number is 1, 0, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. Can you read this number? Yes. 10 lakh 35,789. Next, biggest number. Biggest number is formed by arranging the digits in descending order. That is, greatest to smallest. Among these, the greatest digit is 9. 9, 8, 7, 5, 3, 1, 0. So, our answer is 98,75,310. Our next topic is successor and predecessor. Successor of a number is the number which is just after the given number. It can be obtained by adding 1 to that number. Consider the number 34,64,363. To get the successor of this number, we add 1 to that number. 34,64,363. Our answer is 34 lakh 64,364. So the successor of 34 lakh 64,363 is 34 lakh 64,364. of a number is a number which is just before the given number. It can be obtained by subtracting 1 from that number. Consider the predecessor of this number. Thirty-four lakh sixty-four thousand three hundred sixty-three minus 1. To get the predecessor, we subtract 1 from that number. So the answer is 34,64,362. That is, to get the successor, we add 1 to that number. And to get the predecessor, we subtract 1 from that number. Now we go to the practice step. First question is, answer the following, which is the smallest seven digit number in the Indian system. Smallest seven digit number. Smallest numbers are formed by one and zeros. So our answer is, one and how many zeros? Six zeros.
Can you read this number? Yes, 10 lakh. So its number name is 10 lakh. B, largest is 7 digit number. Largest numbers are formed by 9's. Largest digit is 9, 7 9's. 99 lakh, 99,999. Our next question is, to get the successor, we are 1 to that number. Okay, correct. So, our answer is 70 lakh. Good. Next question, predecessor of 9 million. To get the predecessor, yes. Subtract 1 from that number. So, our answer is, can you write its answer? Okay, 8 million 999,999. Okay, next question is smallest 7 digit number formed using the digit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can you write this answer? Okay, our answer is 1. 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 lakh, 23,456. Yes, correct answer. Complete the other two questions as formal. Second question is, fill in the words with the smallest and largest number that can be formed using the given digits. The digits are given there. You have to form the smallest and the largest number. Remember this, the smallest digit is 0. Place 0 in the second position. Next smallest digit is 4. So our answer is 4, 0, 5, 7, 9. So the smallest number is 40,579. And the largest number is 97,540. Next, B question. Write the smallest and largest number. Here the smallest number is 1,2359. And the largest number is 953000. 210. Complete all other questions as power. Our next topic is rounding of numbers. Rounding of is an approximation. Last year you studied about rounding of numbers to the nearest tens. Now we are studying about rounding of numbers to nearest tens, hundreds and thousands. First is rounding of numbers to nearest tens. In this case, we consider the digit in the ones place. If the ones digit is less than 5, we round off the number to the earlier lower multiple of 10. If the ones place number is 5 or more than 5, we round off the number to the next higher multiple of 10. Consider this example. 83. Here the ones digit is 3. That is less than 5. So we round off the number to the earlier lower multiple of 83. Earlier lower multiple of 83 is 80. So our answer is 80. Consider the number 479. Here the ones digit is 9 that is greater than 5. So we round off the number to the next higher multiple of 10. Next higher multiple of 10 is we add 1 to the tens place. So 479 becomes a 480. Consider another example. Here the ones digit is 5. So we add one number to the tens place. So 
1425 becomes a 1430. Next we have rounding of numbers to the nearest hundreds. In this case we consider the number in the tens place. If the tens place is less than 5, we round off the number to the earlier lower multiple of 100. If the tens place is 5 or more than 5, we round off the number to next higher multiple of 100. Consider this example. 425. Here the tens digit is 2 less than 5. So we round off the number to 400. There is no change in the hundreds place. If it is less than 5, there is no change in the hundreds place. And then tens and ones place becomes a 0. Consider another example. 3600. 78. Here the tens place number is 7. That is greater than 5. So we round off the number to 3700. We add 1 to the hundreds place. So our answer is 3700. Consider another example. 15,750. Here the tens place is 5. So we round off the number to next year, higher multiple of 100. So our answer is 15,800. Next we have rounding of numbers to nearest thousands. In this case, we consider the digit in the hundreds place. If the hundreds place digit is less than 5, we round off the number to earlier lower multiple of thousand. If the hundred place is 5 or more than 5, we round off the number to next higher multiple of thousand. Okay, consider this example. 3425. Here the 100 digit is 4. That is less than 5. So we round off the number to 3000. Consider another example. 100 digit is 7 that is more than 5 so we add one number to the thousands place so our answer is 13,000 another example 2 lakh 70,500. Here the 100 digit is 5. So we round off the number to 2,71,000. So we add one number to the thousands place. Now we go to the practice time. Our first question is Rounding of the following as mentioned. 9,874 cards. Here it is. Round off to the nearest hundreds. When we are rounding to nearest hundreds, we consider the digit in the tens place. Here the tens digit is 7. That is more than 5. So our answer is 
the next question 795 buses round off to the nearest tens when we are rounding to nearest tens consider the digit in the ones place here the ones digit is 5 so we add one number to the tens place so our answer is 800 our next question is rounding of the following to the nearest thousands in this case we consider the digit in the hundreds place good here the hundred digit is three less than five so our answer is three lakh seventy four thousand in the next number here the hundred digit is eight so our answer is nine lakh thirty nine becomes a forty 40,000 and come with CDE as former. Now let us conclude today's class. Today we studied about forming numbers, successor and predecessor and rounding of numbers. In the next class we will discuss about Roman numerals. Thank you.